All right. We are on the draw in match four of this league with Rug Delver. This is probably a keep. We've got a few lands, a threat. Tarfire is really what makes me like this hand. Because it's going to help a lot if we're up against a fast deck. Denial's probably not going to be great. Traverse in conjunction with Tarfire doesn't look so bad. And of course, being able to go turn one Delver is always an upside. Don't love it, but I think it's a good enough seven. I don't think we have a reason to crack that Misty, so I believe we're just gonna go Island Delver go. The opponent with steam vents is st steam vent. I don't know how. Oh, we have tar fire, and they played brawl, and that's a tarmogoyf, and we're probably as good as dead. Huh. Well, we can hope they don't have it. Stubborn denial is not going to stop the opponent from comboing off in all likelihood. Using Thought Scour to get rid of the Tarmogoyf also looks quite bad, though, so I think I'm gonna hope they don't have it. Hmm, our opponent multi six, that's something. Normally, I assume, once again, Legendary Frame, by the way, looks very nice. I usually assume that Storm, if we don't interact with it, will kill us on turn three with a cost reducer in play but thought scour hoping to hit spell snare to slow them down or a lightning bolt to deal with brawl seems really unlikely so i th oh we can attack with delver they're gonna let it through but we can attack with delver and that's so nice that is wonderful I like that option a lot. Now the opponent gets to think for a while. That's fantastic. I am very glad I saw that. Yep, that's fine. At least we got the point in. I'm going to slam Tarmogoyf. Because I don't think holding up Denial will do any good. Our opponent asking about Forked Bolt. Oh, and they're thinking of Lightning something. Not is It's not Lightning Storm or Bluff. <laughs> oh, they're going straight for the Gifts Ungiven. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, they probably can chain a bunch of rituals here. Chances are, well, okay, so best case scenario, they can't chain all of these rituals. We probably give them past in flames. Uh, I don't know how to disable steam notifications. We'll just deal with that. We give them past in flames and... Ah, it's probably Mana Morphos. And then we hope that they don't have any other rituals. Yeah. What goes into the graveyard? Those two. We're gonna pray that they don't have the mana. They could just be spending the turn stockpiling. And then pass to us, because our clock's not all that fast. But we do have Stubborn Denial, which could be a good thing eventually. Ooh, Nauseous Revival, that's nice. That's going to score them a ritual. And yeah, I believe we're dead. Manamorphose pretty well the nail in the coffin. Oh, I forgot they hadn't played a land. Past in flames. Well, they might not have it. No, they can gifts again. They definitely have it. Flashback, gifts ungiven, grape shot. Nauseous Revival is already gone. I wonder what they get. I'm not familiar with how Storm guarantees it gets its win con. 
I don't think cantrips would do it. Oh, I also forgot. Recent update to MTGO. Getting rid of the storm counter, which apparently is a bug. Although I can't say for sure. Grape shot. Well, if they have the grape shot, we're probably just dead. I'm assuming they want to get a grape shot. Maybe a mana morphos. No. How do they guarantee? Okay. Uh, we can't stop that gift zone given, can we? They have a boatload of mana at this point, so we're definitely giving them desperate. Uh, we want to cut them off on cards, I think. So we're going to put gifts in the graveyard. And debatably passed in flames, but it doesn't even matter. I'd rather put Manamorphos in the graveyard, I think. Just so that they get to draw one fewer card. I already know they're casting that Past in Flames, no problem. They also have this one they could flash back if absolutely necessary. And I don't think denying them the mana is that good, because they can cast Past in Flames if you give that to them, so... Really, I think we just, uh, we couldn't do it this game. Storm turn 3 on the draw like it does when you don't interact with it, and unfortunately, we were not in a position to interact. It's lightning something, the one with kicker, I think. Can't remember. One mana. They just bolt us. Yeah, they bolted us. Nice. Good form. One mana. Red, obviously. It's a shock. And then it has kicker for four, which turns it into four damage, I think. So a total of five mana, four damage. Gifts ungiven again. We're making our opponent play this out just in case... What am I saying? They can pass in flames to cast the grape shot, even if we put it in the graveyard. That's just silly. I've been operating under the assumption that they can't do that because I forgot. All right. Grape shot in the graveyard. Let's throw Manamorphos in the graveyard too. They're going to make some mana. They're going to cast past in flames. We are going to die. However, I don't think there was a window throughout this turn that Stubborn Denial would have actually been able to profitably counter anything, so I'm pretty happy with not holding that up. Gonna pat myself on the back for slamming the Goyf and hoping they didn't have it. They gonna do it. Past in Flames. Show me the Grape Shot on the stack, please. I will very happily scoop. I should probably just scoop anyways, but... I believe we've already seen all of these. Let's... You don't have to click, opponent. Please. Please do not think you have to click. We're not gonna go through that. That's just unnecessary. How are we gonna sideboard against Storm? We're not gonna do much. We're supposed to be favored. I do believe we are favored. But, you know, sometimes that happens. Let's grab Pyroclasm to deal with Empty the Warrens. Uh, Deprive and Vendillion Click. I don't know if I actually like Click against Storm. I do like Deprive because more counter magic. Being able to counter Gifts Ungiven or Past in Flame sometimes can pretty much just take a game. So, having enough counters is pretty nice. Nux is a little slow, I think, for the matchup. Roast, definitely not very good. Dismember, I'm willing to begrudgingly keep. And I usually board out a Traverse, which I think I can live with. I kind of want to bring in Engineered Explosives just as another way to deal with Empty. Because we're not that likely to find the Pyroclasm. Plus, they might have Remand. Um, hmm... I don't think there's much I'm willing to cut, though. We have Echoing Truth, actually, as another answer to Empty, so I'm going to roll with it. Hopefully, we've got enough. We're basically going to hope that the post-board games go more according to plan than the pre-board game did. Tarfire, not very good against Baral. Yes, I would like to play first. I almost hit no. We're going to keep this. 
Delver into Delver plus Visions, not bad. Let's grab a Steam Vents. We're probably not going to play around Blood Moon, although it is something Storm boards in sometimes. Don't know if they're going to board it in against us, but they might. I've seen it. Okay, that smells like Opt. Mountain will not get revealed. We are getting a breeding pool off of this. Double blue is pretty important, and I do want a green source at some point. We might be inclined to hold up red, but probably not. Chances are I just want to slam that Delver Spell Snare and Dismember. I actually want both of these. Dismember is going to get to go on top because I'm a lot more wary of them casting a cost reducer on two and us needing it dead before Spell Snare becomes useful. We could Snare. Yeah, that's fine. Bolt. I think I'm actually happier to see them bolt the Delver than I would be to see an Opt. I would love to reveal that Dismember. Repeal X equals 1. We're not going to stop that. Um, That's perfectly fine. I think we're just going to play a bunch of threats. Now, it's entirely po within the realm of possibility that they go Baral and chain a bunch of stuff and we're dead. But it's not very likely to happen, so I think I'm just going to run out all my threats. Delver plus Mandrills, not hold up the Dismember. I think that's a better idea. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I like the idea of getting the clock down. Very likely they have the third land, but they need cost reducer plus a bunch of two CMC spells to actually do much damage here, so I think I am very happy to let them untap. Oh, this is great. We're going to have Spell Snare. Spell Snare is very good against Storm, and we're going to have Snare Snap Snare. This is just gross. Let's get in for seven. Oh, our opponent found the third land off the top, so that's good for them. Don't think it's going to be enough at this point, but it might be. I shouldn't talk like that. Storm can win out of nowhere. They are not dead yet. Even if we end up putting Snapcaster Mage into play at the end of this turn, unless they go down to 9 off that Shivan Reef, that is not lethal. That looks like they're going for End Step Ritual Gifts. Island. We may as well. That way we can cast everything. Knock them down to 3. Unsubstantiate. Not bad. I'm going to snare that, I think, though. Now, they know about this spell snare because it transformed Delver. However, I think we do that anyways because this Mandrills is a very good clock. And we have Snap Snare. That's a very good reason. <laughs> Snap Snare is pretty important to making sure we don't die on this turn. Remand makes Snap Snare pretty bad, but they're not in a very good position to Remand. I think we're just going to counter this. If we counter this, they basically can't do anything. Let's put Snapcaster Mage into play. If we let the Pyretic resolve, it's possible they work up to a Gifts Ungiven or something, which we can't counter. And if they go land, more rituals, it's not the end of the world either. Alright.
right, they know our last card is Dismember. They go to one. What do you got, opponent? Yup. How awesome would it be if they pulled this off? I'm almost rooting for the opponent here. Fortunately, they don't have the cost reducer. Looks like they're fizzling. There we go. Let's head into game three. I don't think there's anything I want to change here. EE e. gets even worse on the draw. Possible we want to drop the click on the draw. Possible we don't want the click at all, but I kind of like it. Let's submit. I think this hand is perfectly fine. We don't have much in the ways of interaction, which makes me quite sad, but our clock is nice and we have some amount of cantrip. I'm a little worried that we're going to have a repeat of the first game here with this kind of hand. But I think it's worth keeping. I think we're going to try to put Traverse in the bin aggressively to hit the third land, also thin the deck a little bit, and make Goyf a bit better. The opponent mult a 5, which is, I don't want to say nice, but it increases our chances of winning. They are going down to 3. That makes me sad. 6 is always nice. 5, oh, they don't have any lands. Oh... That's that's a sad way to end the match. That is a sad way to end the match. Let's bobble scry. Bolt. Bolt is good, so we're going to leave that there. Let's grab steam vents and play that goif. Unfortunately, we got a non-game. On the bright side, it should end quickly. Very quickly, it should seem. Do we want to traverse here? I don't think it matters. Let's put that into play tapped and swing. We're going to bolt the opponent to speed this up. Get instant into the graveyard. Otherwise, we would hold on to the lightning bolt. Oh, uh, we can six. We have nothing to do here. Probably should have just cast the Traverse post-combat. I don't think there's a way we realistically lose this game, but it's theoretically possible. Their six was two rituals, mountain brawl, slight gifts. Maybe it was keep.
What do we got? Land. That doesn't really speed anything up. We are going to put mandrels down. I do want to get this traverse out so we can keep Bolt in the graveyard. Let's grab Island in case there would be a theoretical Blood Moon in our future. Not really a concern for... Oh, dear. Cancel. What am I doing? Swing first. There we go. Now we're going to crack the fetch. Forked Bolt came right on time. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's all good. Very nice opponent, even though they got really mana screwed at the end there. Kudos to them for having really good manners. Bolt them. All right, we took it against Storm. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope to see you in the next one.